After brewing all 99 BJCP beers, after making some beers that were definitely not in the BJCP guidelines, after 5 million views and nearly half a million hours of watch time, it's time to say goodbye to the homebrew challenge. So almost one year ago, Marshall from Brewlosophy invited me onto his Patreon Q&A session. And around the same time, we started talking about what a YouTube channel for Brewlosophy would look like. The idea of conducting experiments, what they called experiments, on camera really appealed to me. And some of my most viewed videos have been comparison experiments. Like most of us, I've been paying attention to Brewlosophy for years and after a few months of expert persuasion, Marshall convinced me to drop the homebrew challenge and instead work on producing weekly videos for Brewlosophy. Never negotiate with a trained psychologist. So now I'm the host, Phil. I'm Martin Keane, and this is The Brewlosophy Show. And yes, I would love for you to run over there, subscribe, watch all the videos, turn on the notification bell. Did, did I hit all the cliches? But before you do, let me share a little behind the scenes insight into how I'm putting this new show together. So part of the deal was I'd go back to putting out a new episode every week. Not a new beer brewed every week necessarily. After two years of doing that, I was not in a rush to repeat the feat, but weekly content nonetheless. So I needed to get the home brewery here in order. On the brewing set, I removed my wall sticker from back in the day, got the concrete walls covered in a lick of paint, and permanently mounted and powered four cameras to capture all the action. I also wanted to pick up ingredients in bulk. Now for years, Atlantic Brew Supply have generously provided me with ingredients, and that's been done one recipe at a time, but now I wanted everything on hand so I could brew pretty much anything at a moment's notice. Now, ABS sent me home with a trunk full of specialty grain. Big order. And Epiphany Craft Malt provided sacks of base malts, which I store in my new six pack Vittles Vault array. To help me mill all that grain, I added a Blickman grain mill. Brewlosophy already had sponsorship agreements for hops and yeast, so Yakima Valley Hops sent me bags of hops, and once a quarter I receive a fresh shipment of yeast from Imperial Yeast. Now I wanted my first video to be an experiment that Brewlosophy is so well known for, and that meant brewing two beers simultaneously. It wasn't an easy task, and required an extension cable hanging out of my laundry room window to power the second kettle. But it turned out that was the easy part. The really tricky bit was data collection. I needed to find 20 participants to take a triangle test, evaluating my two beers. When I'd run through my supply of locally available friends and family... You didn't make them all the same, did you? We put out a call in the neighborhood message forum, essentially saying, stop by this guy's windowless basement, try some of his homebrew. Amazingly, people came and I made it to 20. We launched that video in February and I've been publishing weekly ever since. It's not all experiments though. I've created videos on other Brewlosophy projects like Short and Shoddy and The Hop Chronicles. There are some familiar faces from the homebrew challenge. Norm is a regular. And my neighbor Helen chugged a shot of dry yeast. This was a really poor decision. I have access to industry experts and quite wonderfully, I'm now conducting my experiments at a local brewery to an audience of professional brewers. Hi, I'm Whit Baker, brewmaster at a couple different breweries. Brewing 99 beers in 99 weeks was quite the experience, but the community that I've encountered really has been the best bit. The collaborations with folks who do this commercially, the brew tubers, and the viewers who in the comment section have given me inspiration, encouragement, and how to say this nicely, uh, the occasional hard time. I hope you'll continue to follow my brewing journey at The Brewlosophy Show, and thanks for all your years of support.